So, so much has happened since the last time I talked to you guys. I was going to move in with Jan and Timothy into the course community house. And then this whole COVID virus pandemic thing has come back. And a lot of craziness is going on in Sedona. And there was a house that we were going to move into and that fell through like it was just everything was getting very chaotic and so when I got centered and and just asked you know I got the message that I needed to to get to higher ground and I needed to come home and I don't necessarily think that there's anything that was like going to be bad that's going to happen or anything. however The way I was shown was when you have a catalytic energy, um, like Sedona, for instance, is a very catalytic energy. People go there to awaken. I'm sorry about the noise. I'm in the shop. So hopefully you guys can still hear me. Um, People go to Sedona for an awakening. It, like I've said before, it's kind of like um, Mother Ayahuasca or like being ring a wet towel being ringed out. And when you have a being, like a person who has a natural catalytic energy themselves, sometimes I feel that we get placed in different areas in order for us to balance out the energy, so to speak, or to call down light and all that. So yeah, I got the message to go to higher ground and I don't believe that has anything to do with anything other than the fact that for one, I needed a break. I mean, for me, when I go through like deep processes, I, or I come through a conclusion of sorts in my life, I always experience um, rain. Rain is always my sign from mother nature that uh, I can exhale and, and, and fill up. And um, it kept wanting to rain in Sedona while I was there. And it just, yesterday I was like, would you just rain already? And when I got off of the airplane here in Montana today, for the first time since I was little, as soon as I could feel the energy from outside, all of the elemental came rushing to me and I felt like tingles of excitement through every cell of my body and, and just like this connection with the land that I have and the elementals here that come out and play during the summer. It just, it's, um, it's been the first time in a long time that I was really excited about being home. Anyways, I'm not completely done in Sedona. I'll be back there in a couple of weeks, but for now, I am back home. And I wanted to give you guys all an update, let you know that I know a lot has been shifting and there's a lot of chaos and unsteadiness going on in the world. And if you can just pop out of all the noise of it and and see the higher intention, to see that we've all been asking for this change. And if you're feeling like you're getting overwhelmed or bombarded by whatever it is that you're doing, you know, take some time to go out to nature and connect with what is true and right for you and and see that the things that have been getting removed out of your life, maybe they weren't serving you. And maybe this is, if everything in the universe is for us, how could even the most detrimental events that you're seeing in the world be for you? If I could give you one practice, that's what it would be. So I will be back tomorrow there's going to be a global meditation again i think that we are going to do these weekly and 
I will get you guys catched up with everything else. So I love you guys so much. Take care of my heart.